Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another mod spotlight for Ark Survival Evolved. And today, the mod we're going to look at adds all the scorched items and creatures <laughs> to regular Ark. Oh, baby. So, and th this, this mod uh, is by the same mod author that does... Um, Dragon Gods, and Indominus Rex Nemesis, and Egg and Poop Collector, and Resource Stacks, and all those mods. So it's the same mod author, so you know it's a good mod. Um, and what it does is, it, like I said, it, it adds all the creatures and all the items from Scorched Earth into regular Ark without requiring <laughs> that you purchase Scorched Earth. Um, it does not and will not ever add the map or the mechanics. Uh, all it does is the creatures and the items. Uh, so what you're going to have to learn first is the shrine here. You'll, you'll notice a common theme among uh, Peggy's mods <laughs> that there's a shrine. Um, and so you got to craft this shrine. You see, it's, it's one EP to, to, uh, to learn it. <laughs> and then it's right there. Uh, so you can see it's 200 wood, 200 stone, 200 keratin, 200 hide, and 200 obsidian. And then you just place it down anywhere in the world, and the stuff from Scorched Earth will start to spawn. Um, you're going to notice the levels that I have on the server. Um, that's because I'm using epic levels as well, but that's just my personal preference. Um, I'm just showing that this does, in fact, work. And then you'll see the other uh, the other Ingrams you have to learn. Uh, there's the sap, sand, clay, sulfur, propellant, scorched gear, scorched build, and scorched skins. And then all of those will appear in here. And I learned the scorched gear Ingram, or I well, I crafted scorched gear. <laughs> and then that opened up all of this stuff to learn. So you see there's the saddles, uh, there's the the flamethrowers, the flamethrower ammo, cluster grenades, all of that stuff. Tents, whips, everything. Um, you can see I'm wearing pretty much all of uh, the desert gear. Uh, there was a bit of a, of a little bit of a mess up. <laughs> uh, so you can see there's two shirts, which I'm probably, maybe by the time you see this video, that will be fixed. But currently... Uh, yeah, it's two shirts, and uh, one of these will switch to boots, uh, so you'll be able to craft the boots. And I did craft both of them just to make sure, you know, one isn't just showing up wrong. Um, and then if you craft this, uh, you'll get all the uh, all the skins that you'll be able to craft after that. This, you craft this, you'll get all the building you can craft, so on and so forth. Uh, this one, obviously, you just make propellant, this one, sulfur, so on and so forth. Um, and then you see, like, this one requires clay, so you have to craft this one before you craft this one. And, yeah. <laughs> and so once you place the shrine down, things from Scorched Earth will start to spawn in the world. So if we just take a bit, little bit of a fly, never mind the turning radius, that's not something I can do anything about. So we should start to see something. Ah, there's a moth right there. You can see it. It's right there. That's where you get your silk from, is just murder some, murder some moths. Get out of here. Alright, so you got a moth right there, and there should be some spiny, or some thorny lizards around here somewhere. Let's see, hopefully we can find some. They should be around... somewhere. <laughs> Hello, thorny lizards. If you, could, if you could show yourselves, that would be awesome. Come on. Come on. Any day now. Any day now. Oh, God, that's a whip. <laughs> like I said, things do spawn in the world. Uh, the wyverns actually spawn in the mountains, and as you can see, for some reason, they're migrating away from the mountains. I don't know if that's um, something that needs to be worked on, or if that's just the way the wyverns work. But that does happen, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, wyverns are nanders. I'm just saying, very very dangerous. All right, there's another. Oh my god, another wyvern, <laughs> and an alpha wyvern. Oh, awesome! That is great. Oh, where are the three lizards? They're out here somewhere. Oh, baby, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! 
This is another thing that happens. So apparently every half hour, uh, the wyverns have a chance to drop a wyvern egg. Oh, baby, let's pick it up. Let's run away. <laughs> so you can still, like, that's still how you get wyverns. Wyverns are still not tameable. Uh, all, you know, that, that mechanic is the same. Um, but, like, the, you know, the storms and the superheat and all of that stuff is not in here. Uh, but you can see we just found, that was like totally, yeah, that was totally cool. <laughs> I was actually hoping to find one of those. I'm still looking for a thorny lizard. But they, they are out here. I have seen them. Um, I placed the shrine a while ago and just let stuff spawn. Uh, and then you're seeing your, like, you, you still get uh, all the regular, you know, vanilla arc dinos. Um, this mod does not block anything from spawning. It has its own spawn mechanics and its own configs to control how many of a certain type of dino spawn in the world. So that's something to keep in mind when you're putting together, you know, if you're using this mod or whatever. Um, just keep in mind that it does have configs to control all of that. And then up in here somewhere, there's actually manticores. Why? Oh, there's a manticore. <laughs> Hi, manticore. Oh, God, he's, he's already angry at me. Don't get angry at me, man. Yeah, that, that, that's a manticore. <laughs> There's another one over here somewhere. There's another alpha wyvern. Oh my god, all the wyverns. <laughs> uh, again, you can, look, another, another manticore. Uh, you can control uh, how many of each thing spawns. Um, I believe the manticores are listed under boss in the configs. And all of that stuff is available on the Steam page, which you can find the link to in the description. But I think that's pretty much going to do it for this one. I don't want this to drag on too long. We're just looking at the stuff that's added, um, which, I mean, it's all the stuff from Scorched Earth. All the creatures are here, although I just, I'm, I'm failing to find them currently, but they are here. There were some Morelatops up in here, some of the things you see. There's another moth. Um, thorny dragons I would like to find. It seems the thorny dragons might be a little rare. Or I'm just not looking in the right place anymore. Oh, there's a praying mantis right there. Sorry, I've just been flying around looking for stuff. <laughs> I saw that praying mantis and figured I'd show it to you guys. Um, I still haven't spotted another thorny lizard or a thorny dragon. I don't know what's what's up with that, but they're around. Oh, was that a manticore? No, that's OK. <laughs> I thought it was a manticore. Uh, but they are out here. I have seen them. I'm just like, it's that whole thing when you're looking for them, you don't find them. Uh, that whole thing with Ark. Uh, so yeah, just, just trust that they do, they, they do spawn. And this mod is fully stackable with it, with, you know, any, you know, all the, all the other mods. It won't block other mods spawning. It won't block vanilla spawning. Um, it's not crashing. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, the only issues, I mean, I obviously have are the turning radius, but that's not something, you know, the mod controls. That's all vanilla arc that controls that. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's, that is a manticore. <laughs> all right. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the mod. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.